glory, shout glory, shout glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know you're a few seconds behind, but shout glory, shout glory, shout glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good night to all of you. Uh, we're celebrating a little, um, we're celebrating a holiday in Trinidad. So some of you may be slow to come in because you probably have had events somewhere else. But we sh those of you who are online, those of you joining us from abroad, we want to say thank you for taking the time and for being with us. We want to say we love you, we care about you about you those of you who have joined us come on and hit that share button right away out of every other session we are asking you to be interactive because this is the kind of prayer that people need to be influenced by this is the kind of prayer that is not religious but it is the kind of prayer that God desires us to come into in these days hallelujah Hallelujah. Life-changing prayer, world-altering prayer. Ah, my God, power in that prayer. So come on and hit that share button to your family, to your page, to your friends. And you know, I'm still very um, disappointed because every week I'm seeing about nine people or seven people sharing. Come on, everybody begin to share in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I also want to remind you that uh, tonight is our last night to make our appeal. On Monday, we send our gift to Venezuela. We're about to feed a couple hundred children, and we, uh, a, 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 a spiritual son of us is about to do that and embark upon that. And we want to be able to send uh, a proper and a beautiful gift. I want to say a special thank you to Brother Chris and the LaCour family who gave such a generous gift and it will be well, well used in the kingdom of God and to Royal, uh, no, to, um, royal Priesthood who gave as well towards this. If you want to give, there are giving, there's giving information. This is our last night to receive whatever you have to give. So those of you abroad, you can send it on Zelle, on PayPal, on Cash App, in Trinidad NCash or Western Union, or you can come give us a visit on Sunday uh, at, at Eden House at five o'clock and just hand it to me and say, Rev, this is for Venezuela. And we want to be a part of filling the bellies of the children and also filling their minds and their spirits with Jesus. Amen. So this is our last uh, time that we can make our appeal to you. On Monday, we send that gift off. So come on and be a blessing. Uh, I just want to talk to you briefly. And those of you who prayed for us today on our mission and assignment, keep on praying. We have another mission tomorrow. Keep on praying. We accept it. We receive it. And we function in it in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to Nehemiah 4. And I want, you to, I want to talk to you about work and war. At, from, the, the ver from verse 6, he said, so we rebuilt the wall until all of it was joined together up to half its height, for the people had a mind to work. Where there is God's purpose activated, there will always be work. If you're in an environment where work is not being done, work is not being planned, where work is not happening around you in your life if a work is not happening inside of you if a work is not being done in in your ministry because uh, then then something is wrong because work directly points to god god has us here for work the Bible says when Adam was placed in the garden, he was given his work to do. There was a job 
to not a, just a job, but that was his work. A job and work are two different things. Work signifies an assignment. Work signifies a vision for an end thing and a complete pro, pro, uh, complete pro, product, sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry, but uh, work is who you are and what you were created to do. If you are not involved in work, the Bible say, work out your salvation with fear and with trembling. The work takes you to, through process for something complete that God has in mind. Where there is no vision, there will be no work. And because where there is work, there is progress. You see, the enemy hates progress. Where there is work, something is being developed, something is being molded, something is happening in the realms of the spirit, getting ready to to, to manifest itself into the visible. If, your, if the spiritual is not manifesting visible things, that means work is not being done and progress is not being made. Who is hearing me right now? And we, work brings progress. Work builds something. Work expands something. Work creates something that is not there. And you find that progress, it, it, it disturbs the enemy. The enemy's job is not for progression. He will always keep you in a space of regression, where, where, where you will always recede, where you will always go back, where you will always mull over the same things over and over. There's nothing new. Work takes you from stage to stage and allows you to experience the new. My God, I feel God already, hallelujah. And But the enemy, when work begins to be staunted, when work is being hindered in your life, in your sphere, in your existence, it means that the enemy is observing that, that work and is doing everything to hinder that work. The next verse says, when Sanballat and Tobiah, together with the Arabs, Ammonites, and Ashodites, heard that the repair to the walls of Jerusalem was progressing and that the gaps were being closed, they were furious. And all of them conspired to come and fight against Jerusalem and create a hindrance. When you are busy with work that God has given you, when you are busy fulfilling assignment in God, when you are walking on the road to progress and fulfilling vision, ah, the enemy will have people and things lined up. Ah, there are just some things and some people around you that do not want progress in your life. They want to cap you. They want to limit you. And the spirit of limitation, it comes exclusively and directly from the devil. It is going to bother people. Ah, my God. He's going to gather forces. Even if it bothers one person, let me tell you something. The enemy, my God, knows how to unite when it comes to do 
his work. Ah, and the children of light uh, don't know how to unite to get God's work done. I am here to tell you that these people had a mind to work and they were working in unity. God created us to work in tandem with the environment around us. When he placed, uh, when he placed Adam in the garden, he was not working against the environment. He was working, my God, to improve the environment, to, to, to make the atmosphere better than he was given to it. That's what work does. You end up being better uh, and you end up creating better than what is given to you. Work demands that the, the, the resources and the raw material and the, origin, the original things you're given, you are expected to expand. That was the power of Adam, to be fruitful, to multiply, to increase, to give back something more than was given to you. My God, I'm touching on some serious principles here. Ah, I hope you're hearing me. I, I, I hope you're, you're, you're traveling with me and you're going where I'm going. And because of the power, my God, to change atmospheres around you, because of the power to build God in an atmosphere, to progress God, to increase God, to, to, to multiply multiply God because that was the idea that when Adam had finished in the garden the idea when he perfected that garden ah my God when he was perfected and he perfected and that garden and him grew into one that perfection then was to go into all the world and that world will experience that wholeness and experience uh, that creative process. Hello, somebody. Uh, but the enemy, my God. God, that he knows all of this, and he is very strategic, so he's going to jump into an available vehicle. Are you making yourself available for the devil by stopping and hindering the work of the kingdom, by stopping and hindering the work in somebody's life, by stopping and hindering the work? Ah, are you gathering up troops? Rebende de besa. That's how the enemy works. He gathers other, other people, other people who are disturbed, other people who are in, 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 in tandem uh, with, 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 with deceitfulness and delusion and discouragement and threats. They don't want nothing new. My God, that's what religion does. Religion caps you. Religion limits you. And when you're beginning to progress, when you're beginning to develop a hunger and a thirst, when work begins to stretch you, my God, and you are beginning to experience stuff that you have never experienced before, growth and maturity and intimacy and intercourse with God takes place and something beautiful is arising and the vision of God is coming into fruition. My God, religion tells you so far shall you go and no further. Religion tells you that you need a title in order to say, what you need to say. Religion tells you, my God, you're not qualified. Who am I talking to? Jesus, I feel you. I feel you on this forum. Religion tells you that you are just a nobody. Religion caps you off. Religion, my God, begins to, to throw darts, uh, to, to limit your space because what God is doing through you, ah, uh, my God, it is meant for expansion. It is meant, my God, to, to be touching 
bring all of your world right now. Ah, they didn't like ah, that the walls were being repaired, that there was progression, that the gaps were being closed. My God, work is taking place. Every time you decide to log on to prayer point, we're filling the gaps. We're teaching you, my God, the things that were broken, they are going to be repaired. We are teaching you how to progress. We are teaching you how to give no place to the devil. We're teaching you, how to see and how to discern what needs to be fixed, what needs to be brought before the Lord. Ah, we're teaching you how not to walk this life as an invalid. We're teaching you that the work of God is not for the afflicted and it's not for the weak and it's not for the inferior. My Jesus. Ah, so right there and then, the Bible says they were furious. I am here to tell you the fact that you made the choice to log on, the fact that you made, you made to make this prayer point time, your time of learning, your time of receiving, your time of blessing, your time of yielding, the enemy is furious. The enemy is furious furious. I'm telling you this so you won't be surprised. I'm telling you this so you can identify, my God, you can identify the things and the people being used to come against the perfect work of God in your life. They are always going to be furious at you. They are always going to find fault with you. They are always going going to be angry. Ah, they are not going to celebrate your progress. And their job is to conspire and come and fight against what God is doing in you, whatever the work might be, whether it is seen or unseen, whether it be inward or outward. My God, they are conspiring to come and fight against you and create a hindrance to stop the work. Uh, that's all the devil can do. Uh, create a hindrance. A hindrance uh, is a premature stop a premature a snag my god it is a premature thing that should not be permanent but some of you the enemy has thrown hindrances and it has kept you there for such a long time and the furiousness of the enemy ah uh, it, it 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 the furiousness and the the comes conspiring of the enemy and the strategy of the enemy to stop you prematurely in the work that God has for you. It has succeeded, my God. But the thing about it is God is showing you in this lesson today that once you're involved in work, you are also involved in war. Warfare deals with the hindrance of the work. There are many hindrances. People speaking, people not speaking, people helping, people not helping. Demons and demonic entities and influences and circumstances and timeline, timeline being being manipulated by the devil and his hordes ah when that's why we get into war once god has given us work to do we automatically we must also enter into war we are dual people at this time working the works of him who sent us but yet very much aware jesus while he did the work of the Father, he was very much aware of his enemies, of what they were trying, of their schemes. Hello, somebody. Stop being taken by surprise. Oh, my God. Children of the light behave like the children of the light. We are not supposed to be caught off guard. So, 
Jesus would steal away and do his warfare, my God, where nobody else would see. So when the warfare and the confrontation, when, when the conspiracy of the enemy confronted him, he was not surprised. He was able and ready to deal with it because these things were constantly being thrown at him to stop the work prematurely, to bring hindrance to what he was about to fulfill, my God. So warfare deals with the hindrance of the work. In verse 9 it says, so we prayed to our God and posted a guard against them day and night. Listen to me, they prayed but they did something. Many of you are praying but you're not doing anything. Many of you are praying, but physically there is no manifestation of the strategy of that warfare. Who am I talking to right now? We prayed. We understood who the enemy was and what they wanted to do. And when you are exposed and when the enemy's plan is exposed, you pray. But you don't pray for help. You don't pray for strength. You don't pray for protection. You pray, my God, for strategy. And God, let them, my God, understand and have wisdom. You must have wisdom and warfare. Many of you, you are running in where angels fear to tread. Many of you, you are going in to places and you don't respect what is out there because you're going by feeling you're going by by some other mode but God is saying prayer will bring wisdom prayer will bring strategy so they prayed they handled it in the spirit but then they did something physically my God God. They posted a guard. They posted a guard in the weak places. They posted a guard. When God draws your attention to what the enemy is doing, ah, it's time to fix it. It's time to do something and manifested in the physical to show the enemy that you know what he knows. You know what he's planning. You know what to do, whether it is, uh, my God, by your behavior, whether it is by your response, we need to respond. The fight will come from without and within because while that is happening and a very level threat was being made to the progression of the work uh, there was fightings from within meanwhile the people of Judah said the strength of the laborer fails and there's too much rubble and we will never be able to rebuild the wall even though the people had a mind to work their own people was trying to to redirect them, was trying to discourage them. When you are involved in the work, the expansion and the progression of God's kingdom, my God, you've got to be careful even of the people and the things that are closest to you because even them can give in to the work of the devil. You see, Peter allowed himself to be used as a vessel of the devil right after he spoke revelation he began to rebuke Jesus and Jesus recognized my God this is not my disciple speaking this is not the one who I have prayed for this is the one my God who the enemy has entered into. You've got to know who's speaking to you. You've got to know if that is truly your family speaking, uh, your ministry uh, help speaking, your your, 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 your closest speaker, people speaking, or if it is the devil speaking through them. My God, help prayer point family tonight. I feel the presence of God. I feel God saying something to somebody right now. 
They're, re they're ready to discourage you and they're showing you, my God, the magnitude of the job. But the, God would not call you if he didn't equip you to handle the magnitude of the work. Come on, somebody. Because there are some people in the middle of the work, in the middle of the progress. Ah, they're going to start whispering in your ears. And while you have a mind to work, the enemy is going to use them to let your focus and, and your vision be distracted. You need to get rid of the distraction. Jesus looked at, at Peter and he realized th this instru instrument was using him to hinder him from completing the full assignment and the will of God on his life. And he said, get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me. How dare you come in front of me? How dare you put yourself in front of me? How dare you put yourself between me and the perfect will of the Father? Recognize. Somebody shout, I need to recognize. I need to recognize. Just type that. Type that. I need to recognize. I need to recognize when it's God and I need to recognize when it's Satan and Satan will become so emboldened my God and that is out of desperation so he's going to use people from within people close to you people who should be understanding you now they are deviating you and deterring you from what you're supposed to do and they say my God this thing cannot be done it's too much work to do. Can't you see that you're tired? Can't you see that it is bigger than you? Listen to me. Any vision of God will always cost more than you have. Any vision of God will always pull more than you think you have, my God. So God is saying, it does not matter. That is to show you that you have what it takes because what you have, it is not limited. It is not finite, but you are operating under supernatural commission. Somebody, I want you to place that declaration, write that declaration. I am functioning under supernatural commission. I have been commissioned not by man. I have been commissioned by God. I am for Ebro Kasaya. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When that is in you, when that is all up entangled inside of you, when the enemy shows up, ah, you can rebuke him immediately. How dare you stand between me and my purpose? How dare you stand between me and the finished work of God? How dare you stand in front of my assignment? I rebuke you. Get behind me. Get behind me. You don't have to fight him. Ah, because the power that is inside of you, you strip him down to pieces and he has to obey your command. Warfare will expose the plans of the enemy. The Bible says, and our enemy said, before they know or see a thing, we will come into their midst, kill them, and put an end to their work. That is how lethal and legal your work in the kingdom is. That is how important and imperative and influential your vision is, your assignment is. Do not take it for granted. You are not a pew warmer. You are not just a lay worker. You are not these titles that men and religion puts on you. You are involved in a power and in a work and in a progress and in an assignment that my 
God. It is world transformative. It is world changing. Hello, somebody. So God is going to expose the enemy's plans. These were details that they were discussing. Ah, my God, that's the power of prayer. He takes you into the enemy's den, into the enemy's planning meeting, into the enemy's board of directors meeting, and he allows you to stand and hear. He allows you to understand the intel. Hello, somebody. People involved in warfare, you've got to understand that we are a spy agency, my God, and our biggest uh, our biggest weapon is intelligence. There is a whole department in the United States just to have intelligence in warfare, to know what the enemy is thinking, how the enemy is planning, where the enemy might, so, but might, might try to come in, and that comes through intelligence. Ah, there are some airs that need to be open. When you go in to warfare. It's not just you speaking all the time, but God is going to lift you into the realms and put you, my God, to stand up in the middle of conversations, stand up in rooms where your enemy occupy. Who am I talking to? This is a word. I'm feeling it in my spirit. My God, let this word shake you. Let this word wake you up. Let this word alert you in the mighty name of Jesus said we're going to come in and we're going to ambush them and we're coming into their midst we're going to kill them and put an end to the work what is the enemy planning to ambush you with is he trying to ambush you with sickness is he trying to ambush you with disease is he trying to ambush you with limitations of abilities what is he trying to ambush you with is he trying to ambush you with intimidation and threats what is he ambushing ambushing you with and are you going to allow him to come in to do that to kill you ah but I'm telling you God has already told you God has already alerted you God has already allowed you to see the thing and deal with it God will provide the intel God will provide the intelligence at that time the Jews who live nearby came and told us ten times over Wherever you turn, they will attack us. So I stationed men behind the lowest sections of the wall at the vulnerable areas, and I stationed them by families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. Keben, hafre kema, ampre keme sakapadai, andora basha. Your work is not for you alone, but your work consists of your family. Your work consists of a group. Your work uh, consists of the people that God has put around you. Your, your work uh, consists of a core group of people, my God. And when the intelligence or the information comes, uh, you will know what to do. It's going to come right in your lap. Uh, I am speaking to somebody tonight. Uh, whatever the enemy is planning, uh, it's going to come. The information is going to come right in your house. Uh, ah, my God. Uh, the information will be exposed and and something or someone if not the Holy Ghost if not in the realms of the spirit God is going to cause a text he's going to cause a call somebody going to tell you exactly what is about to take place and you will be so prepared I'm talking about work and war work and war it goes together my God in order to, for the work to progress we've got to be efficient in our warfare. He's going to cause that thing to come right in your house, right in your hearing. You wouldn't have to ask a question. Who is hearing me? And you will know what to do. You will know how to secure the vulnerable areas in your life. 
you will know how to get into the low sections, things that are still, uh, my God, weak in your lives. And my God, you will be able to alert your family. You will be able to alert your friends. You will be able to alert your core group and let them know what is about to happen and what we need to undergird and what we need, the spaces and the gaps we need to fill. We need to caution our family my God the message of the Lord has come that is why we need to stop being a retroactive people prayer point I am raising up people who will be proactive for their nations is this too deep for you am I going too fast for you ah God is just throwing and, and, and throwing 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 equipment he's just giving you and equipping you with everything that you need to know because I after this session, you will be accountable for winning that war. Why didn't you not win it? Why did you not get the work done? Why did you not fulfill the purpose, the assignment, and the vision? My God, let your family be aware. Let them know that they need to be praying as much as you. Let them know that they need to be vigilant as much as you. Stop living in la la land. Stop hiding from your children. Open up the things of the spirit and let them see what they are fighting against let it be made known and manifest what we are building a hedge for hello somebody and finally the war will protect the work how you manage and strategize the war will determine how you protect the work that God gives you the Bible says that Nehemiah, after he had made an inspection, he stood up and he said to the nobles and the officials and the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fights for your, and fight you, fight for your brothers, fight for your sons, and your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Remember why we're in this. Remember why we've been placed to do what we're about to do or what we're doing. Remember the purpose, and the purpose is God's kingdom. The purpose is the fulfillment on earth as it is in heaven. The purpose is to take territory for the king. The purpose is to create what God designed for those he has given to you. Fight for your children. Fight for the generations to come. Fight for the unborn. What you're doing now, those of you, every wind blow, you're flying, you're falling down, you're complaining. Listen to me this fight is for the future this fight is for things to come my God you may not see it now but God is saying fight fight for your children fight for your family fight for the nation that God is building the Bible says righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach we are seeing and living in the reproach because because the righteous is not rising, the righteous is not effecting, the righteous, my God, is not influencing, my God, to exalt. And God is saying, know what you're fighting for. You're fighting for a righteous nation. I began to pray and God began to deal with me before I came on. My God, I was taking a little rest between between engagements and I knew I had to come on but the word of the Lord was this he's saying call the people call the armies together call the remnant call them and tell them my God that they are the righteousness that they, that will exalt their nation and in these last and closing days there will be righteous nations there will be righteous leadership there will be righteous Righteous compliments, 
to the kingdom of God in the earth. And he's saying we are the ones who righteousness is having her work in, who's having her progress, who's having her development. What is happening in you and with you and around you? It is to establish the kingdom of God now, now, now. Oh my God, I feel God. I feel God prophesying. I feel God opening up. I feel God educating somebody here tonight who is feeling him. Krabaska, amprakashi dede, enfolis kamanda rabashe, aprekan sensidia, aprosa kapapa, ipnekan de nike de do tiesa kaprea, kafranda la matisa, upresa kafasaya, rebende le masa. Holy God, holy God, you're speaking to us tonight. Holy Spirit, you are awakening and alerting us tonight. And oh God, we pray for the vision of Christ. We pray for the kingdom of God. Those of us who are reeling in limitations, those of us uh, whose eyes are still blinded, those of us uh, who have stopped at the hindrance, those of us uh, who are unaware of the wiles of the enemy, uh, wake us up right now. Uh, I pull the scales from off of their eyes. Uh, I remove discouragement uh, from without and within uh, every voice, uh, uh, every threat, uh, every, every scheme, every plan. Uh, my God, uh, every truth tribe, every language, every tongue, my God, that is uniting together to stop the progress and the vision of God. I come against you now in the lives and in the work of the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Through the word of God, I command their ears to be open, to hear in the realms. I command and their spirit beings they sekefasa to ascend and to move into realms even where the enemy is to hear conversations about them ah to see how strategies are being implemented and planned against them eva manda thank you for alerting us thank you that you're making it aware thank you that you have people on the inside hearing and receiving intelligence to come back and to let us know thank you thank you that we are gathering our family thank you that this fight is not a solo fight but this fight, we are fighting for and with our families. We are fighting for and with those who will believe as we believe. Holy Spirit, we work and we war. We work and we war. We will not leave the work unfinished. We will not leave the work undone. We will not be tripped over by the hindrances of the enemy. We will not be intimidated by the furiousness my god of what is happening with people rising up against us but we will see the spirit in operation we will slash it to the ground in the mighty name of jesus and every evil that confronts us every discouragement that confronts us every ploy my god every ambush of the enemy we strip it open Aphrodite le ma capre kensha sa Capradosh, Capradosh, Capradosh me kete rabasaya Avende de de bekeye as the light of God shines. Ah, as God equips us to work and to war, to work and to war, to handle, my God, everything that comes against us and for us. Oh, Holy Spirit, teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us. We are not stagnated. We are not limited. We are not devoid and deferred of what God will have have us to do and we speak that the work of God will progress we speak that we will take territory we speak that we will expand 
the power, the nature, and the kingdom of God on the earth as it is in heaven. We speak it forth now. And those who have been discouraged, those who have been stamped down, those, my God, who have been fooled and deluded, ah, we rip off those blinders. And I speak to your spirit now. Wake up in the name of Jesus. Now is not the time for a break. Now is not the time to listen, my God, to disparaging comments. But I command you to take up ah, your work one more time. Take up the weapons of your warfare that are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. Take them up. Begin to use them. They are available to you. They have already been provided. And begin to use every resource that the king has given unto you to develop, to dominate, to multiply, to bring forth fruit in every season. To expand, my God, to put, my God, into place and to overpower anything that comes against the divine and the complete will and work of God's progression in your life in your ministry, in your nation, whatever you are doing, I decree and declare, it is innate and it has been provided in you. You don't need a blessing. You don't need a prophetic word. It is in you to prosper. It is in your DNA and your spiritual genetics to multiply. For what one man will do in a certain time, I I decree and declare that God will accelerate and multiply, that whatever job you are given, whatever assignment is given unto you, it will be done speedily, it will be done accurately, it will be done wisely, it will be foolproof, and it will be done perfectly in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare to you that you are about to cover ground, like the Kusha you will cover ground you will run and not be weary you will walk and you will not faint you will soar and you will roar Ah, you will war and you will roar you will alert ah, you will call forth through the sound of war you will call allies into your into your network I decree and declare that allies are coming to lift up your hands I decree that people are coming to help you expand the vision who is hearing me right now I decree that you in yourself you are multiplied you are extended. You are like your father. You are covering ground. I speak acceleration in the vision. I speak, my God, acceleration to accomplishment. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that right now the perfect will of the Father be done. I decree and declare that your warfare will be competent. I decree and declare that your warfare will be effective. I decree and declare that you will frustrate the plans and the works of the enemy by just existing and doing what you need to do. I decree and declare that whatever has been warred into, whatever, we will have the victory in the invisible, in the realms of God. And I decree and declare the manifestation of victory will come forth. The manifestation of victory that we fight alongside of our brethren, that we fight alongside of the remnants and the chosen ones who are called 
able to occupy this hour and this territory in every sphere of influence the righteousness of God will arise through us and in us I decree and declare that your work and your accomplishment will bring forth righteousness in the nation that you have been planted that the warfare will be a good warfare it will be my God a powerful fight in the heavenlies that righteousness will rise and exalt our leaderships exalt our nations that righteous ah righteousness will come forth from those who are living right who are thinking right ah my God who are progressing right according to the statutes of God according to the commandments of God and the corruption ah my God the delusion that has taken over so many it is depleting because the light of God the exposure of God you are putting us in places right now you are extending us so that oh God we can build and we can complete and we can extend and we Lord Jesus can perfect for the next generation into the generations to come into the generations that are being birthed they will be birthed into holiness they will be birthed into excellence they will be birthed into perfection they will be birthed into righteousness they will be birthed into truth they will be birthed into wholeness ah they will be birthed into real power and they will be the offspring of God in the earth father we worship you somebody worship him I feel the excellence of God arising he who has teaches he who taught and is teaching your hands to war and your fingers to fight you, because when God used your hands to build ah, it progresses his work it's, ex, it's extending his territory stake your claim right now stake your claim right now I don't know who this word is for but somebody is receiving the grace, somebody is receiving the encouragement somebody, your eyes are open and you're realizing that the tools are right there, the resources are right there, the help and the assistance is right there and there is more for you and with you and surrounding you uh, that can ever be against you uh, and the furiousness uh, and the ire uh, and the angst of the enemy is now no more in the mighty name of Jesus uh, for we are guarding uh, we are the watchmen on the wall uh, there are no more sleepers uh, there are no more sleepers prep point down a complete and plate in a higher coffee this is a deep spiritual word I feel God getting into the foundation of somebody's life and shaking you up and telling you shake it off hapla kabai neve dene me he 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 hey dana mai kebe ke haprokoyo sata rise mighty man of war rise son of war War. rise rise up rise up rise up and let the gods be posted rise my God and lead rise and send the command rise and post the guards and post the security ah, on the work on the wall so the work of God will progress I feel this message I feel God is saying something capriso apranita namakaya don't be stagnated don't be hindered Caprosha. time 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 is of the essence redeem the time redeem the time some of you have idled away the time but God repent and come back into the work repent and come back and begin to move forth move forth move forth in the mighty holy name of Jesus the world is being built with or without you 
the wall will be built with or without you. You can succumb to the enemy or you can be the enemy. Ah, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Drop your religion, sir. Drop all your tradition and all your limitation, ma'am. Ah, vendorabasa. Drop your discouragement. Change the course of your words and of your conversations now in the mighty name of Jesus because you're being exposed you're being exposed you're being stripped you're being brought down to nakedness and shame for the light of God is flowing and God is saying come who will come on the Lord's side who is on the Lord's side come now there is a clarion call being made oskatai afradisa anplekeken todobo shy. Run out. Run out of the enemy's planning. Run out. Disassociate yourself. Ah, if you're part and parcel of hindering the work and the progress of the lives of the people of God, of the assignment that we have been given in the kingdom, God is saying run out from that darkness. Disconnect yourself. That spirit of rebellion, which is a spirit of witchcraft, planning against the tie and to bind you have no power here you have no power here I chain you with fire I chain you with fire I chain you with fire I put discount I put discord among those who have united to come against the work of God you are going to confuse yourselves you are going to fight among yourselves I command death ah my God and a spirit of confusion to come in your camp right now in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you're planning, ah, I slaughter you down, I command you will kill yourselves, I command you will turn on each other, in the mighty name of Jesus, you spirit of wickedness, ah, brakayanda, I release the spirit of confusion, you will dig out each other's eyes, you will cut off each other's hand, you will dismember each other, you will wound each other deeply for coming against ah, the kingdom of God and its people. Back to the pit. Back to the abyss. In the mighty name of Jesus as we expose you. We expose you. We expose you. And Fladisa Talabasha. And oh God, we reinforce. I speak reinforcement. I speak reinforcement in every weak area in our ministries. I speak reinforcement. And I post the guards of the Lord to stand in every gaping area that the work is being done. I speak reinforcement of the watchers on the wall to see the enemy coming from afar and vendi salamanda rake aprababas e lendo radaya sakabete in the mighty name of Jesus I command your mouth to be paralyzed I command your plans to be confused in the mighty name of Jesus and I decree and declare I decree and declare we have noticed you we have been revelate been revelated of your dealings and we say that you are brought to naught in the name of Jesus and as for us and our households as for us and our core groups, as for us and our allies, as for us and the chosen of the kingdom, as for us and the nations we occupy we will serve the Lord we will rise and be righteous, we will be exalted to righteousness we will stand in excellence. Our standard is rising. And every principality that is hindering, every principality, you are thrown off of your throne right now. Ah, we overthrow you. Somebody war with me. Somebody war with me. Ah, dethrone that enemy. Dethrone him 
now, dethrone him now, disrespect him now, throw him off his guard because the power of God, the resources of God, the might of God is more than he carry. Let it come from the treasure inside of you. Let it come from the authority that God has placed upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. Mm. Receive it, receive it, Mala. Receive it, Mala. Receive it, Jennifer. Receive it, Deborah. Receive it, Toya, Rosanna, Justina, Chris. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Uh, you're being elevated. You're being elevated. Shanti, Rose, Ivy, Winnet, Junie, Christine, Kamala Day. This is a deeper word. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This is a word of strategy. This is a word, my God, straight from the throne room. Marla, Dylan, Rolda, ah, Rosanna, ah, Maxine, Rhoda, Elizabeth, Cynthia, Alicia, Andre, Joy, Mina, Stacy, Rhoda. Receive this word. Act um, activate this word. Act upon it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, my children, Diko and Sophia. Ah, receive Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Keola, Andra, Claudia, Blessed Kim, Leah, Pam, Vashti, Ah, uh, Vasti, Tamara, Ste Stephanie, Sandra, Denise, Radhika, your work is yet to be done. Your work is to be finished. It has been held up long enough, my God. Who is hearing me? Rosanna, Brooklyn, Michelle, Loretta, Solomon, Angela, Trevor, Agnes, Sherelle, Marsha, Leona, Shelly Ann, Anika, my God, Ingrid, Rajiv, Valini, Cecil, Ah, my God, I command you to take territory. I command that the vision will be seen. You will not die, but you will live and complete it on earth as it is in heaven. Kelly, Lester, Sabina, Jenny, Nisha, Maimin, Love, Beverly, Cynthia, Resh, Reshma, Dylan. I command you now. I command you now. Multiply. Be fruitful. Ah, my God. God, dominate and subdue every sphere of influence. Let the vision of God be accomplished through the work, through the progress. Now, now, now is the accepted time. Now, take up your tools, take up your armory, take up what God has already provided for. The enemy has been brought low. The enemy has been destroyed. The enemy has been sought out. The enemy has been exposed. He is not a problem anymore. Go forth. Go forth. Receive it. Go forth. Finish the work. Finish well in the mighty name of Jesus. Be a good steward of what God has placed in your hand. What he has given you. He has given it to you exclusively. Nobody else can accomplish your work. You will be held accountable. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. I feel God. I feel a prophet prophetic anointing. Ah, my God, it's coming upon you for the generations to come to activate what has been laid out before and the past, the present and the future is culminating in this designated moment. Somebody is looking at me right now. The past, the present, and the future. I speak to your spirit. I speak to your mind. Everything that you have done in the past for the kingdom, everything you're doing now, my God, and everything that is coming as a result of it, it is culminating in this designate, designated moment. This is a spiritual moment. This is a holy moment. This is a moment where heaven, ah, by, by my God, is invading, is invading, is invading. Maybe you never felt it before. Maybe you never encountered it before. Arise and shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord, Selinda Rabasha, is risen upon you. Rise up, rise up, rise up. Work and war, work and war, work and war, work and war. If you're receiving this thing, somebody just type the emoji of fire, type the emoji. 
emoji of fire because while I'm speaking uh, while you listen to it again the fire of God is consuming you uh, a host is encamping around you uh, type fire type fire type fire type fire the prophetic word of the Lord is here it's taken you over Ambrakasha work and war work and war work and war now is the accepted time I feel the prophetic word it's invading you it's invading you it's invading your environment it's invading every hindrance and pulling it down to the ground somebody type fire fire quick 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 fire I feel the fire I know there is fire I know fire has been ignited my God some of you you are feeling it literally it's emitting out of you because when my God the word of the Lord comes it's time to work ah when the war is happening it is my God it's bigger it's bigger it's bigger than you and I it's bigger than you and I it's mightier my God prayer point is on fire prayer point is on fire this forum is on fire my God this channel is on fire 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 in your hands fire in your mouth fire in your bellies fire showing up on your work you're going to leave a trail of fire I declare you're going to leave a trail of fire fire of God you're going to burn the enemy in the dust into the ashes fire fire in the name of Jesus God we thank you hey. hallelujah my God we feel you Jesus, 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 Jesus. This is it. This is it. Somebody type in capital letters. This is it. This is my moment. This is my moment. This is my moment. This is my moment. Type this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Hallelujah. Work and war. Work and war. Work and war. Work and war. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. There's work to be done and he has equipped you for it. My God accomplish the vision fulfill the assignment let progress of the kingdom of God take place in your sphere in your world he is waiting wake it up in you in the mighty name of Jesus and now God give peace that passes all understanding and wisdom 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 there is fire there is fire there is fire my god somebody shout like a thunder somebody needs to begin to roar 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 alert the devil that you know what he knows and you're coming in you're coming in you're upsetting it somebody roar in the heavenlies roar hey nemahaya kabataya hey losus Na, 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 masa. Hey, Jesus, I feel you. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. In this fire, there's work to be done. Tonight is the last night that we're making appeal for the children of Venezuela. I'm putting up the forums now. Quick, quick, while the Holy Ghost is on you, jump on those forums. And I want you, uh, just put Venezuela next to it so that we know that we can put it towards that fund and that mission. Don't just give, but give towards that particular mission. On Monday, we send our gift out together with Eden House. Come on now. We are accomplishing the mission. There is no hindrance. There is no... Uh, there is no detour. Ah, so come on, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, NCash, Western Union, my God, MoneyGram, send it now, send it now. While the fire is burning, we're going to feed them children and we're going to feed them with the fire of God. It's coming from a place of fire. It's coming, my God, from recaptured territory. We have taken this territory for Christ, for Christ, for Christ, for Christ, for, Christ, for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are the ones to take territory. Cover this ground with us in Venezuela and give, 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 give quick, quick, quick in the mighty name of Jesus. Join us on Sunday for Eden House. Please pray for us as we get into uh, more ministry tomorrow. Pray for our strength. 
pray for a covering and pray for a mighty demonstration and a continuation of this fire into our different appointments and ministry appointments. We love you with the love of the Lord. Prayer point, we're on fire. Prayer point, we're on fire. Encourage each other. Pray. Pray, 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 pray as the work must be complete in the mighty name of Jesus. Work and war and be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. I am your host. I am your prayer partner. I am the one that God has placed in your life to pull you higher. And I am your friend and your blessing in this time. I am Reverend Nicole Balasing Holder on, on behalf of my husband and I and everyone here on the family of Prayer Point. God bless you. We will see you next time as we rise higher and we become greater. God bless you. Good night. You see, I know you're waiting. You're watching and waiting just for me. This is my time with you where I can be myself. This is my time with you, just us and no one else, Jesus. I want you to know that I won't live without you. Father, you are my heart's desire in all I do. You see, I'm waiting. To hear your voice so sweet and so still. This is my time with you.